That right there is a vent, hood vent specifically, from a 90s era Chevy Lumina Z34. And it is going to go on this hood right here. Looks like a Transformers logo there, huh? Well, I cringe to drill into the hood, which is pretty much in perfect condition. But I drive a Jeep Cherokee. And as most Cherokee owners know, they tend to get a little warm when you're on the trail, slow crawling, or in traffic, especially when running the air conditioning. So I picked up uh, two of these vents from a friend of mine, and they just happen to be the same red. It's not an exact match, but I think it's close enough. If I don't uh, like the color, I'll maybe I'll paint them black, but I think they look pretty cool. So I mapped it out, got it all drawn out. I'm going to cut it with an air nibbler drill a hole and then I'll use an air nibbler I picked up at Harbor Freight and uh, and mount these. I have the drip trays also. I don't think I'm going to put the drip trays on. Um, I do have dielectric grease on all my connectors so I'm not too worried about water on there. I've never had a problem when I've washed the engine of not starting or anything like that so I think I'll be fine and um, I'm hoping it will help with the engine temp to uh, run a little bit uh, uh, not uh, you know not cooler. It's going to run at you know 210 or whatever, but it'll keep it from overheating a little bit more, and maybe uh, cool off faster, and not get heat soak after you stop somewhere. And that seems to be once it gets heat soak, it, it just takes a long time if you're in traffic to just get that out of there. So we'll see how it works. I can do a little cutting here in a little bit, and uh, hopefully I, uh, I measured it like 12 times and had my dad come over and uh, check it out as well, and he said it looked pretty good. So. If it looks crooked or anything like that, uh, I already know there's two hoods at the local junkyard that are in pristine condition. I can always go get another one and repaint it. Hopefully I don't have to do that. All right, here goes nothing. I'm gonna just drill a hole. That will allow me to fit the uh, my air nibbler in. I think I, it doesn't really matter where I drill it because I wanna do some you know, running along it, see how it's cutting before I get too close to the edge there. So we'll just put it right here. Cool. No going back now. Committed. All right, got the hole drilled. And uh, I do have a towel underneath the engine here, a big uh, rag or something to uh, prevent it. This is the air nibbler right here. This next part's probably gonna get, no, here it is right here. It's gonna get a little noisy with uh, the air compressor going crazy. So you might not be able to hear much, but see how it cuts first before I get close to the edge and I gotta learn where the lines are so safety glasses and all that good stuff because it makes a lot of little chips nice. well As you can see, we ditched the air nibbler. It's just not working. We went to a, just an air grinder. And this seems to work a lot better. The other one is just, I don't know if I don't have enough uh, um, pressure in my compressor. It's a pretty big compressor, but it's just not working. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this is a the right one here or not. Let's see if this works out. Got one little spot to take off a little bit of material. Well, first one is in and uh, looks pretty good. So all I can hope is that I measure the other side so that when I cut that hole, they're gonna line up. Um, it's a pretty tight fit. It doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. And um, uh, it's a little bit different of a red, but I think I'll just leave it for now and then uh, decide what I want to do later. It doesn't look bad. Well, there they are installed. Went pretty easy. If you take your time measuring, you won't have any problem getting these in. The red's not an exact match, but man, it's pretty close. I think it looks pretty good, actually. So we'll have to see how it uh, 
keeps that uh, motor running nice and cool. I mean, it's about 100 today, so we'll test it out later. So I've had these hood vents in for a couple weeks now, and uh, driven around town. It's been in the pretty hot in the out here in Arizona. Also, I uh, drove up to Colorado with them, and um, would I do it again? Yeah, you bet. It's, uh, it's helped quite a bit. Biggest difference I notice is when I pull into a store, stop, run in and get something, come out, the temps drop below 210. You know, they're down to like 190 something. Before, it would be heat soaked and be above it. I haven't had any problems with rain. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I did use dielectric grease on all of my connectors. And, uh, you know, I've washed the engine. I've, you know, it's been in rain. Hasn't had any problems. So it's definitely worth, the, worth doing. And um, as they say, uh, what is it, cut three times, measure once, or something like that.